everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Colony Survival. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day because I'm certainly excited to be back with my little colony where it's currently nighttime. But that's okay because we currently have five archers willing to defend us. We have the three that are guarding the bridge. We have the two on either side by the spaces where the towers are going to be. And I'm actually kind of looking forward to seeing how this goes. We do only have 162 arrows, so I would like to look into doing something about that. I'd also like to just go ahead and start getting some lights around here because it is a little bit dark. So we'll get some lights there. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into the workbench itself and say that I would actually like it so that we have at any time about, let's say, 750 so that we can focus on that. But what we're also going to need, need to do is get ourselves some miners. Now, we do have 305.8 food coming in per day, which is fantastic. But we do need to make sure that we have enough food at all times. So I'm thinking it might actually be an idea to move the wheat farms that we currently have away from where they currently are. Maybe out to that space over there. Because I want to get more of them. I want to make sure that we are making a bunch of bread because that is the best way to feed the colonists and I'd really like to uh, put a bit of a focus on feeding them so we can go ahead and actually grow the colony quite substantially because we are going to want a bunch of miners. We are going to want a bunch of farmers and we're going to want a bunch of ways to make sure that everybody is looked after and that everybody is safe. The whole game is a question of supply and demand. There is a demand for 70 food per day. Can we do that? Yes, we can. There is a demand for arrows. Can we meet it? Well, we're going to find out. I will say, it seems like at the moment, we're doing pretty well. We're using a lot of arrows, though. There's a lot of arrows being fired that aren't making contact with zombies at the moment. So I think I might head out and just see if I can maybe just deal with some of the zombies myself so that we're not in a situation where arrows are getting wasted left and right. Because we definitely want to see if we can uh, avoid that as much as possible. So we will absolutely see what ends up happening here. Uh, definitely seems like there's not that many zombies though, which is kind of nice to be honest. Big fan of the fact that there's not too many zombies to be dealing with at the moment. Uh, we'll get you real quick. We'll get you real quick as well. And we'll let the rest of them just come a little bit closer. Uh, none of them falling into the moat. I guess the pathfinding is going to dictate that they're not going to do that. Which is totally fine by me. I'm also looking at the bridge and thinking it really should be made of wood. We could totally make this look like a drawbridge if we were to go and use some temperate logs. Speaking of logs, we actually really should get some areas designated for foresters. So that we can go ahead and have a regular supply of, uh, well logs, obviously. Uh, so that's something we're going to need to look into. But what I'm going to do for the time being is I'm actually going to uh, take this torch and head down into the mine. And I'm going to get some resources myself so that we aren't going to be in a situation where we don't have a lot of the stuff that we need. Because we are going to need iron. We are going to need coal. So I'd like to get my hands in some of that. I'm also going to just mine out a lot of this space. Put the torch there. And uh, we can gradually go ahead and just clear out a lot of this space to uh, let it get, you know, brightened up a little bit by the torch. And hopefully in the process, we can maybe just maybe find a bunch of resources that are going to be super, super useful. We do need to find coal. We do need to get iron. Well, there's iron right there. Uh, and there's coal right there, actually. So we're not doing so bad, I suppose. But we'll go ahead and just dig this out like so. I'll get those corners eventually. Uh, but what I want to do is I just want to stand here for a second and gather... Just a bit of iron so that we can have some of that in the stockpile. We are, of course, going to need a lot of systems in place to turn iron into uh, arrows. We need iron ingots to do that. So we do we do have a lot of work we need to do. We have a lot of work we need to do. So I'll grab some of that. I'm also going to grab a bunch of coal as well so I can make a bunch of torches so that the castle isn't all dark at night. So grab all of that. We can throw... Uh, the iron's already in there. The coal's already in there. So if I throw that... Uh, if I grab those, throw the stone into that inventory, grab the coal, I'm going to make a bunch of torches. Just like so. Apparently only three of them. Really? Really? Only 
three torches? That's a bit weird. Uh, we'll go ahead and put that in there. We'll put that in there as well. And I guess we can go ahead and get out of here. I do really need to dig this out a little bit differently. Hitting my head on the rocks on the way up here is always kind of annoying, but... I'm not going to stress too much about it just yet. Let's just pop up and see what's going on. So, uh, I think we'll save on this torch, and we'll put one there. Uh, so what are you guys doing? Oh, I forgot I had a lot of this. So you don't have the wheat necessary to make... The, so you don't have the wheat to make grain. Now you, what, hold on, who needs what? So you need the wheat, you need the grain. So what I'm thinking is we take both of those jobs out for a second. And we take that job out for a second as well. Now that's obviously going to hurt our food production, but it is going to put these two to work in different jobs. One of which was obviously a miner. And I'm thinking you're probably going to go and be an archer. I actually don't want that. So I'm going to head over here and I'm going to take out the quivers. Because I'd really much rather that these guys were... Uh, focusing on production jobs. As it stands, we don't seem to be in desperate need of someone else to defend us. So we now have someone that's unemployed, which is actually kind of a good thing. Because what I want to do is I want to get the unemployed guy and say, hey, go work the furnace. Because you can start turning... You are crafting a furnace now. Uh, you can start turning the ores into iron ingots. Which means that you can start crafting more arrows, which is fantastic news. Now, what I can also do is go into the furnace, I think, and say, don't craft any gold, don't craft any bricks, just craft iron. And that means this guy here can make us some of the stuff that we're going to need. Uh, now, what we also need to do is actually head back into the mine for a second. And I think in the process, I am going to, uh, I am going to carve out the ceiling because that's, uh oh no, 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 uh-oh, uh -oh. Bad, bad, really bad. I think I may have just killed a man. Oh. Does the water go away? Does the water ever go away? Uh, <laughs> uh, I may... Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. That's a problem. Uh... <laughs> Do we ever get, like, if I do that, and that, and that, I guess, hold on, do that, do that, no, does this, like, gradually clear out the water? Because there is a guy down there who is probably drowning currently, which is not ideal, I'll be honest, it's, it's really, it's really bad, uh, I, I think... I think I may have flooded the, uh, I may have permanently flooded the mine, is, is kind of my worry here. I'm not certain, but I think there's a distinct possibility that I have killed a man. I think there's a very distinct possibility that that's what's going on here. So, that's all gonna need filled in, like so. Uh, this all needs to go away as well. Come here, let me out of the water. Let me out of the water! Let me out of the water, there we go. So, that should be clear now, right? Yeah. So I just need to keep doing this. Just this pattern of three the whole way down. So that... Man, well, actually, that guy shouldn't be drowning now that I think about it. Because it isn't going to have completely filled in the space down there. So he's just going to be a little bit damp. Until I manage to make it down into, uh... Into that lower bit. Oh, God. No, we're good. We're good. We're not there yet. Oh! As it's... <laughs> As it turns out, I may have actually completely flooded this space. Yeah. So, uh, that's great. That's perfect. Um, and a bit of an issue. So, not really sure what to, uh... Not really sure what to do about this, I'll be honest. Not really sure what the solution is to, uh, fixing this problem. Other than completely clearing out this entire space. Oh boy. So basically, I need to do this the whole way around all of this to get that guy out of here. Or I need to somehow clear it so that he can like climb out of the water and not have a problem in doing so. So yeah, this whole thing is... 
could could be going better is is what I'll say. Could be going a lot better. But the good news is I got to the bottom of it, literally, and I'm not dealing with it, I guess. Well, there we go. The mine has been cleared out. It was a bit of a nightmare to do it, but job done, I suppose. And uh, we are not going to talk about the fact that I very nearly killed that guy. We're not going to talk about it, is what we're going to do. That light up there is probably better as well. Uh, that is actually a little bit of a weird spot. Maybe I should just move the light to like there and there. So there we go. It's kind of nice and bright down here. I did move the miner, so he's not going to be mining iron. Sorry, that's not iron at all, actually. That's completely my mistake. He's going to mine iron when he comes back down in the morning, uh, which is going to be a good thing. This area in here has also been dug out, so it's a bit taller, meaning, you know, the thing I wanted to do is not possible. I also totally didn't put a crate down there, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, so we'll run down again real quick and just throw one of these crates into that space. So that he literally never needs to come up here, and what I could even go ahead and do is grab some beds and throw a bed into these spaces in the sides here. So a bed there and a bed there mean that the miners literally never need to go back to the surface. He can live down there, he can mine iron, and we are not going to have a problem, which is absolutely beautiful news. So, let's head up here. You are in need of iron ore. That's fine. You're making beds. You guys are harvesting at the minute, which is fantastic news. Because what we can do is we can go ahead and throw ourselves in a grindstone and another, another oven just there. And eventually someone will go to work on those. Which is fantastic stuff. But what I'm also thinking we do is we do maybe go ahead and we do maybe throw in another another berry farmer or two, perhaps. I'm just thinking that it might be an idea to really, really, you know, nail the idea of getting these uh, these berry fields up and going. Although wheat is, wheat is honestly such a useful thing to have a lot of. It really, really is. So maybe, maybe wheat farmers are where it's going to be at. So let's do a 10 by 10 there. And let's do another 10 by 10 just here. Alongside the castle. And we can't do one here, but we could, I suppose, do a small berry farm right here, I think. Six by six, not a problem. And I'll grab some grass just to uh, sort of decorate this little edge here. So there we go. So we can have a berry farm there, we can have a couple of wheat farms there. That does give us five jobs that we need to fill right now, so... I'm thinking we... We go ahead and we get ourselves another colonist. And that colonist is immediately gonna go and work the grindstone, I assume. Yeah, he's gonna work the grindstone. Uh, I'm also thinking it might be an idea to get another crate and throw it next to uh, that farm just there. And maybe move that one to there as well, just so that the crates are sort of, you know, decently spread out. Uh, we could sort of put them in the middle. Might not be a terrible idea, but we'll leave them where they are for the time being. And you are going to get back to working on crates, so that's fine. This guy here definitely needs more iron, so I'm going to pop down to the mine real quick. And I'm going to mine a bunch of it and just throw it into the town inventory. Uh, I don't see any more around, so can I... I can mine this while he's doing it as well. Ooh, hold on. Alright, that could mess with things a little bit. Let's just mine a lot of this out and hope that we find some iron underneath one of these bits of, uh, rock. Because if we don't, we're gonna need to keep mining until we do, so I can mine some iron as well. Eh, well, that's a problem. We're apparently not mining in a very good location, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, let's just go and throw that there then. Move that and dig out this bit. Well, there's some coal there. It's not the worst thing in the world. But let's just take out all of these bits then so we can see if by chance there is some iron just under any of it. Please, please, please let me find just one vein of iron. No, nothing. All right. Ah, well, that's a bit unfortunate. All right, let me drag that into there. Let me put those away. Let me put the beds away. Put the grass away. Can I not mine this while you're mining it? No, that's that's kind of a pain in the butt. 
And this guy's quite slow at it as well. So we really do... We really do need to find... More iron veins in here. Otherwise, this whole process is just going to be painfully slow. So let's see if there's any underneath any of these bits at the side. Doesn't really look like it. I mean, there's some gold there, which will be useful later. We didn't have any gold in here to begin with, so... Not going to complain about that. But, no, just more coal. Alright, I see how it's going to be. We're going to have to just keep digging. I am getting a decent amount of stone from this, though, which is nice. So I'll take that at least. I guess, uh, you know, stone's gonna be better than nothing. But again, no iron. Ain't no iron down here. Other than the one vein that we're already looking at. Well, that is an absolute pain in the butt. Please, please give me iron. No, really? Okay. Hey, yeah, yeah. I guess I'm gonna let him do it for the time being. I'm just gonna need to find more myself. That's the way this is gonna work. I'm gonna have to go maybe make another mine somewhere else. Or... I mean, I can just keep expanding this. I can just dig that way, I guess. It's just a total pain in the butt. So let's just dig in a straight line until we find some iron, I suppose. Well, the good news is I found some. So we'll go ahead and put a mining task on that. I already managed to grab a bunch of iron from that vein already and throw it into the ton stockpile. So we'll just mine out a little bit more here in the hopes that we might find one more vein, because ideally I would have like three people work in the iron mines. But I don't know if we're going to get another vein. Oh! Oh, that's perfect. That right there. That is perfect. All right. I'm going to just mine out that bit. Actually, just mine out all of these bits. Except for the ones at the front. The ones at the front, I'm not going to bother mining out just for the aesthetic. I know that's kind of dumb, but this kind of archway thing going on here, I think looks kind of nice. So mine all of these out. It gets me a bunch of stone, which I can use in castle construction anyway. So mine all of those out and throw another minor task just there. It does, however, mean we are going to need another bed. So I'm going to grab these two here real quick. And I'm going to move them way, way down here. So one, two, three beds with a torch there so they're nicely lit. And this in the middle means that we have a pretty decent mine down here. So that should do some good stuff for us. We're up to 159 arrows. So we have been making arrows as we need them. So I guess what I think I'll do at this point is I do want to come over here real quick. And I want to go like this. One two, three. All right, so we come in three. Gonna do the same here. So one, two, three. And we could go out one. We technically should go out a little bit further, I think. Um, but I think we'll just have it as is. Because I do like that those guys can get down there. Although technically, we could just put a door. That is the thing we could do. We could just come in here and like carve this out. So they can get through onto those bits. I think that makes sense. So what I guess I will do then is build this up a little bit as well. Just like so. And uh, we're just going to need a door over here as well. So the archers can uh, get to where they need to be. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I kind of want to build the gatehouse. So we're going to go up like this. And this is sort of going to give us an idea of roughly how tall the towers are going to be as well. So we're going to go up like this, and at this point, what I want to do is uh, preferably not kill myself in the fall. 83 damage is a little bit much there. I've got to be careful. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, that's a bit risky. One, two, just like this. I guess we'll build like a little staircase here that I can drop down onto. Not a staircase as much as just uh, a thing I can drop down onto. Uh, can I reach? Ooh. Well, that's going to sting a little bit. But what I want to do is start working on an archway here. So we're going to kind of have an archway over the entrance to the castle, which I'm hoping is going to look really, really cool. So let me just go ahead and build myself. Let me do this out of wood, actually, so I'm not wasting resources. Um, actually, I'll do it out of dirt. Dirt's probably not a bad idea. So we'll build this out of dirt. We're just going to build a staircase that I can use 
to get up on top of the gatehouse. So it's going to go up like this, then come in again, then go up on this bit, and it's going to go in as well. Ooh, I tried to sprint jump there the way you would in Minecraft. That was, uh, that was a risky move is what that was. Uh, so this comes across like so. Uh, we need a bit more stone just there. And I don't know if I want to do like a peak or leave this flat. I feel like a peak might be a better bet. So something kind of like that. And if we go all the way down here, how does that look? Does it look good with the peak or without the peak? Um, I actually like that. I think that's okay. Yeah, I think that looks fine. I do want to... I was going to I was gonna grab some planks, but apparently I'm not doing that anymore. All right, fair enough. Um, I think that looks okay, though. Because what I can do, and what I wanted to do with this, was put a torch just... Well, actually, I'll remove those ones. Just remove that torch and remove that torch. And remove the ones at the bottom of this as well. And I want to put a torch just there and there. So that this is all lit up a little bit better. And I could put one up there as well. And I think that looks pretty good. I, I, I actually really like that. So that will do the job. Um, I'd love to put one up there as well, so let me just do that real quick. Just gonna build up like so, put that up there, and hop down. I like it. We have a gatehouse. We have our gatehouse. I'm so okay with this. I'm so okay with this. Uh, food production is currently... Well, it's lacking a little bit. I am slightly worried about that. I'm slightly concerned that we do have a lot of jobs that are currently doing nothing for us. So I'm actually going to head out and I'm going to remove the farms here. I'll put them back later. But I want... I want bread to start getting made because we do have 202 flour. So if we recruit a colonist, that colonist is immediately going into bread production. Which is fantastic news. Absolutely fantastic news, I think. Uh, what's this guy's problem? Doesn't it fire? Do we need logs? I feel like we might need logs. I feel like that might be where we're at. Slightly concerned if logs are about to become a problem, though. Because that's kind of the last thing we need to be a problem, because we don't have the means to get a forester just yet. But we're just going to have to keep an eye on it. And we'll see what happens. So let me throw those logs into there. Just like so. And we'll see if they get used as a fuel source. Now it does look to me like, yep, yeah, he's making bread. So he's making bread, that's fine. Uh, can you stop making planks for me? That'd be great. Just stop making them completely. Well, actually, don't stop. Maybe have like a supply of 10 of each type of plank. Just like that. Uh, but this guy's not making bread, which is fine, because that means we should be able to... If I throw that there, he doesn't have as far to go. Uh, our food supplies should come back up quite considerably, which is kind of what we're going for. These guys out here are doing a fine job with the berries. And I suppose at this point, we just need the miners to keep doing what they're doing. That's kind of where we're at. So I guess... I guess we might be all right now that bread production is go i think now that bread production is go we're uh, we're definitely in a better spot i would love to get these two remaining miners i really would love to get those two remaining miners but i'd also really like to get those wheat fields up and running again i would love a much much greater supply of wheat than we currently have also can i can i do this is that, by chance, a much more efficient way? Not really. Um, <laughs> not quite. Not quite. Thought I discovered a thing. Turns out, I'm not quite right. What if we did it this way? So what if he just had to turn around? Is that efficient? It seems like it might be. We're up to 290 food currently. I want to just watch and see if, by chance, this is quicker. Um, no. No, it isn't. Why? Why would that? Oh, that's confusing. That's, that's really confusing. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it here. 
That's fine. We're up to 305 food, though, so food production's going pretty well. If we look in the inventory, you can see food value is 3 on that. It's uh, 0.6 on each of those. So food value on bread is so much better. Also, a mint. Not quite sure what we need that for, but okay. That is fine by me. The good news as well, by the looks of it, we are going to get more wheat tomorrow. And we're not even out of the flour that we currently have. So food production is definitely up there. So much so that I feel fairly comfortable getting one more colonist. You know what? We're going to jump into the deep end. Two more colonists to go work in the mines. Meaning our food consumption per day is 90. But we are now getting a lot more iron. Meaning the arrows can keep being made. Meaning we can comfortably defend ourselves. Meaning that at this point, our focus can switch from... A whole bunch of things back to the most important thing, which, as far as I'm concerned, is going to be food production. So let's put a couple more beds done. In fact, let's just put all the beds done that we currently have. Um, just like so. And we'll head over here and put a couple more done, just like so. So we're up to 31 beds, 18 colonists. We should have... You know what we need next, actually? Maybe we switch one of the... Well, we don't need to switch a miner to work on stone currently. We have 719. I think the next thing we need... And maybe, just maybe, we take a miner off of the iron for a second. Because what I'm thinking we do is we say that... You know, you, for example, aren't going to work on that. You're actually going to be a forester. Because we have a lot of stone. We don't have a lot of wood. So if we can get someone working on bringing wood to the colony... We're suddenly going to find ourselves in a spot where we are doing a little bit better for ourselves. So if we head out real quick, and this will be the last thing we do in today's episode. It is running a little bit longer than some of the previous ones. But what we can do is we'll just throw it over here towards the far side. Actually, no, I want to put more berry farms over there. Uh, so the, the forester, I guess, can go out here. I think it's a 10 by 10 field. It is a 10 by 10 field. So the forester is going to go there. And that's fine. Uh, I guess we can set up the wheat farms again, so we're going to have wheat there, and we're going to have wheat just there as well, and we could maybe throw in another forester just out here, just like so, and then another berry farm there with a couple of berry farms around those. So that right there should keep us very, very busy, uh, and that should also keep us in a spot where we are getting a bunch of supplies. I'm going to throw that right in the middle just to, uh, you know, keep things nice and bright. Can I put a torch on that? Yes, I can. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So we now have a supply of wood. We have a shed load of stone. We have a gatehouse, which is kind of nice. I'd like to do some detailing on that at some point fairly soon. But I think we're in a pretty good spot. It does seem like we're going to need more firewood, so we'll get that uh, in the next episode. But I think for today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave it there. So thank you kind of for watching. This has been Colony Survival Part whatever it is, Part 5, I think. I'm quite happy with where we are. Hopefully you are too. Next time we have a bit of work to do, but uh, with that in mind, thank you kind of for watching. It's been a pleasure as always, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!